here, bro. I'm mobbing in town. I'm there. <coughs> I'm there. It's dangerous, but it's a vibe. <laughs> eh. No. <laughs> YouTube channel so I'm gonna be filming a get ready with me plus a Q&A obviously from your guys' questions from the question sticker I put up on Instagram and yeah sir okay we're actually gonna start with the questions now God read I what do you do to have beautiful white teeth? Thank you so much, actually. But I don't be doing much. I brush my teeth. I used to brush my teeth three times a day. Yeah. Morning, afternoon, and night. But now I brush twice a day. Like I never miss. Like I can't. I use primer now. I mean, between this one, yes. But yeah, and. Um, at night, I use the mouthwash after I brush my teeth. I don't go in with, with anything that's like with activator talk or anything because that actually wears down the sensitive layer of your teeth. And when I was doing that in the past, before I knew anything about it, my teeth are very sensitive now like extremely and it's insane like i will be eating like let's say i'm just eating rice and meat literally from this side i can't chew so much i have to swap it to this side like this. next question is what inspired you to start a youtube channel okay i'll make it blue blend of them i'm gonna use artistry it's by emway if you watch my skincare routine and i got my toner from there so what inspired me to start my YouTube channel was actually I've always wanted to start my YouTube channel since I was in primary school. Um, I, growing up, I never watched TV. My parents were really busy. There was no one really at home, and we had DSTV, but then it was like DSTV just kept on playing, like replaying stuff. So I was always on trays and in TV. You know what I mean? Like there was nothing. Great, like I just had to wait every Sunday for keeping up with the Kardashians, like you know what I mean? Just wasn't it for me. So my TV was YouTube. My TV was YouTube. Um I would watch I don't know if y'all remember but Macon Yo <laughs> Um I would watch Ricky Thompson. I've always watched Bergman Rock. He's just he's my favorite honestly and then i started watching nilla rose like not so long ago but yeah just watching them and stuff like that literally made me want to do it because it looks so f like it looks like it's full of fun you know what i mean but um when i first then started high school i was like you know i'm gonna start this channel i'm gonna do this but i just it gets scary because you start thinking like nobody's gonna watch like literally nobody's gonna watch but you gotta tell yourself that people like things people literally like things they'll watch anything guys that that i don't know if you guys remember but that white guy damn daniel for vans got onto the ellen show because of that like guys you can people like things please 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 so I'm gonna go in with the concealer from Ramel London in the shade. In the shade. Okay. What is the most important thing you've learned? The most important thing that I've learned so far is that time, guys. It's time. Like you guys will literally. Like just sit and think about it time. Like just deep it. Literally. 20 minutes is a lot. 15 minutes is a lot. Time is a lot, guys. Like literally. You gotta 
know like what you're doing and if you don't it's okay girl like i don't know what i'm doing at times but what i'm saying is that you cannot take back time so just think about that guys and also what i've learned is that not everyone is like you you know what i mean everyone is different and everyone is on their own path in their own journey so you should never compare and pressurize yourself like that because really it's gonna kill you for real like i'm not even trying to joke if you like i know social media will always like put out things oh got a my own house um house owner at 21 guys that is for them and that is meant for them so yeah you just gotta wait and be patient and you will pray guys if you feel alone like literally you feel like ain't nobody gets you god got you guys you, know that? you can't control what's around you whatever happens happens for a reason you you yourself just gotta you just gotta keep moving you gotta just move smart you just gotta think and that's all and ain't nobody care about you <laughs> not like that people care about you but do what you want in life guys literally do what you want if you want to die we agree go for it ain't nobody celebrity so come on now <laughs> What's for you will literally reach you. And I'm not saying now you must sit on the couch like a potato and not do anything, no. But I'm saying if you're starting a business and you feel like things are going slow or if you want to become this influencer and things are going slow, guys, like literally, and you're like, but I've been going for this for two years. Like for opportunities to happen, that opportunity needs to be ready to come to you, if that makes sense. If they're not ready and you are ready, just just wait, honey, just wait. It ain't running away. Nothing's running away. It's okay. This pandemic is worse. Another question is what lashes do you use? I get my lashes from clicks, but recently they were racist, so we don't know what's going on there. Thoughts on astrology. Astrology is something. <laughs> what I mean, okay, like I believe in it in it, but I don't fully believe in it. Like I don't pour my whole soul into it. Um, just guys, if I say, oh, I'm a Capricorn, don't, don't know. I'm a Capricorn, don't know. Think you know me. You don't know me. Okay. You just don't know me. So please, don't even try. <sighs> okay, so I'm using the translucent powder by Yardley London. I think it's Yardley, Yardley, Yardley London. I don't know. Yeah. So. Oh, and a tip. Do this because you want to enhance your natural. I don't know. I saw it on a video. Like I said, I'm not a makeup artist. I don't, don't even know if I'm doing the right thing. But yes. Because I don't know how to do makeup. I, I just do. I just do. And that's the same as life. I don't know what I'm doing in life. I just do. And if we fuck up, it's okay. It's okay, girl. It's okay. Where does your name originate? I'm gonna try and understand that question. But um, so basically, uh, my name is a Chinese name, Yin. Yes, Yin and Yang. Yeah. But. That isn't my full name, if I could say. Well, originally my name was supposed to be Zhou Yun. Zhou Yun. Z H O Y U N. Because Chinese, they put surname before your name. This is a bit too dark now. <laughs> Whoa. So, yeah, that is actually for me. So young, um, my son and being so, but that that no more girl. So it's yin because it's easier, I guess. Um, but from so yin, it changed to jo yin, J O stash Y I N O hyphen. I don't know, but yeah. So that's what my mom actually calls me. She calls me Joe Yin, but more with the Thai 
accent she's thai my surname blue and in chinese my name just means the color silver and the sky with the clouds and sunny why is this my laptop about to die not at this time Ooh, it's okay anyways who are your celebrity crushes girl Drake. <laughs> Guys, can we talk about Drake? Drake is the most precious. And this Korean guy. Guys. I don't, I don't know his name. I don't know how to say his name. But I'll, I'll put a picture of my celebrity crushes. Luca Sabat. But why you be moving with Ian Connor like that? She No. Like, baby, what you doing? But yeah, for real. Do you feel pressure with posting on social media? Mm -mm. No, I don't think I am. Because everything that I do, I do for fun. So there's no pressure in doing it. You know? Um, sometimes though, sometimes I do. Because it's like... Content. Content. But I say that and I'm just chilling. Because I'll be going through things at home too, guys. You know? How do you deal with the negativity? You see, in the past, I was a bad bitch, like, but now that bad bitch attitude has toned down and I hate it. I hate it with my guts. But negativity, honestly, the negativity doesn't come from people who are important in my life. I feel like it will literally be negativity from someone wearing a fake blown shirt or wearing a fake off-white belt and that is not my issue so it doesn't affect me most crazy time of your life there was a time of a friend and i at that time we was um we went to this thrift event okay i think it was called stunting saturday stunting sunday stunting saturdays if you went there uh, and don't know things think like oh thrifting no guys south africans don't know how to put prices for thrift so we go there and i'm there with my friends okay and some of my friends went earlier than me and i went extremely late because time on my side and waiting for a friend we was it was getting hectic so, <laughs> so when this whole event ended, we left with two strangers. <laughs> guys, 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 let me tell you. At this event, man, we went and everything, and then my other group of friends left because they were like, we gotta go. And Ro, the one, I think she started her period, and her back pains were extreme. We meet these two guys and we we just became friends like we were just like alright oh, the night let's go party let's whatever and then we went to the after party of the thrift event and we were waiting for them they actually snuck out of the house <laughs> so we had to wait and they changed outfits what I wish I had that yo and then they were like oh there's this party going on should we go it's it's um called cop i was like where is it they were like it's in mabuneng if i hear bra mabuneng you tell i'm there <laughs> i'm there it's dangerous but it's a vibe <laughs> eh. no <laughs> yo guys things Mine. But I took off the translation powder. And yeah, let's just carry on. I don't know what question I was on, but oh, most crazy time of your life. Yes. And then, okay, I don't know if we're ever left off, but oh, I have to mention. I had to mention go for sure, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, my friend had to go home, so I was left alone. But now, those strangers, 
was just the best like i don't know it was kind of like a moment where i literally felt like i was literally in a movie and it was the best like sneakers or heels sneakers but i like heels but sneakers like if i had to choose like you know like life or death i literally just take sneakers what's the best beauty tip you've ever received Before you go to sleep, no matter what, take off your makeup. Take off your makeup, don't be, yeah, just don't. And don't mask your face all the time and don't scrub all the time. Any relationship advice? Guys, relationships are not scary. They're just, the thoughts in your head are scary. You know, it's like a, it's a third person in the relationship. Your brain becomes a third person, I feel. As an adult, um, he was like, take care of your partner and everything and look at your partner as like one of your children like it's your child and when i first heard that i was like oh my goodness yes like when your child fucks up you're not gonna just leave and uh, you know be like i want a new kid i don't want you no more you know what i mean so it's work it's literally it's effort it's everything guys the more i say it like you can just listen but once you're in that position you're like yeah you know and um honestly always think always treat the person how you would like to be treated and always think like if something comes up just be like okay would i be comfortable if he or she did it and if you really don't have an answer hit up the person it's always about communication just be like hey do you think so this happened do you think um i should do it would you be comfortable with it whatever if your partner doesn't feel comfortable with it don't Embarrass the person. Okay, wait, this is a long one. I didn't read this. Hey, girls, my best friend is friends with someone I don't fuck with. What? What? What do you think I should do? What do you think I should do? Okay. That person simply doesn't have respect for me. So, I'm just gonna put it that way. Your friend doesn't have respect for you. Okay. So. Anyways, y'all. And with the advice for that, let me tell you don't force anything. Don't. Don't force anything. Talk it out. Things don't change. Leave it. Because let me tell you, things in life will happen naturally. Because you're gonna be shook with yourself. Like, you're gonna be like, oh, here comes a complaining. Bye. Literally. Blush is the underdog. Yo. I use the blush Bobby Brown. Um, shade Farther Jus. It's blush number 10. I'm gonna say that too. I'm gonna pop my lashes off camera. Don't even. Do I even have blue? posters and like web design what is your niche girl my niche it's like it's beauty uh, no just like i know it's stuff like your look you know what i mean your skincare your just your health your wealth your your clothes your hair just beauty how do you get modeling gigs, guys? I don't, I don't know where you guys see this because I, I don't know. Modeling gigs. I've been seeing these questions and I don't know which modeling gigs you guys have seen me on. But no, I don't do modeling gigs. But if you're talking about the. What did I just do? Did 
But if you're talking about like the photo shoots and stuff, I just know the photographers. But photographers I recommend are Ntla Ntla. Yo, guys. And on set, he's just, he's, he just knows. He's just the OG man, he's OG. Jimmy Good. Just. And yeah, I started with Sam of the Life. Yeah. Hit him up. I don't know. Pay him. I don't know, guys. Who does your nails? I don't know. Oh, yeah, I got makeup in them, but I don't know if y'all can. I don't know if you can. Oh, yeah, no, this one has makeup in it, has a bit of foundation, but. How was lockdown for you? How was lockdown for me? It was interesting. That's when I started my YouTube channel. Um, lockdown was just battling inner demons, really. Um, it was just horrible. That's all I can really say. Um, but I realized a lot. Oh my gosh, lockdown, huh? So many things happened. Yo. 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 That is the thing that I found out. Hmm, lockdown was traumatizing. Sorry. Uh-uh. Done being get ready with me. I don't know. This is my face. This is my outfit. I look like a little boy. But, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I think I spoke really softly in this video because it was like I was doing my things. I don't know. You hear me? You hear me? If you don't. <laughs>